Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you guys my Hydroid Prime build. I have a nice nickname for this build, the Hentai Tentacles build. I think having such a build would be very beneficial for you guys out there, especially when you want to farm lots of resources. So be sure to stick to the end of the video for awesome stuff. Just some quick info before we go into the builds. Hydroid is one Warframe with very interesting abilities. He possesses abilities that can be both offensive and supportive. By supporting, I mean by his hentai tentacles being able to boost drop chances for you and your teammates. And that's going to be helpful when you need to farm certain resources or things needed for an event. Since this video is fully dedicated to this augment called Pilfering Swarm, I won't be talking about other Hydra augments or I might just cover them in another video. So here's the build. It's quite a straightforward build, it mainly revolves around his tentacles. This build focuses on duration and power strength. Power conversion is an optional choice here. That's going to be a thing if you guys need to stay in the mission for a long time. If you only plan to stay in the mission with less than 20 minutes or something, then it isn't needed. This is one build that is meant to be used in tight spaces, kind of like the corridors you often pass through in Uranus. So when you use this ability in such a place, remember to stay out of sight of enemies so that they will blindly rush into the tentacles, get caught, voila, free loot. What makes this all possible is the Pilfering Swarm Augment. This augment boosts the chance of getting extra loot when an enemy is killed while a tentacle is grabbing it. One very interesting thing is, there are quite a number of misconceptions around the community and I want to clear it out. Correct me if I'm wrong, some people, including myself, used to think that Pilfering Swarm will only take effect if the tentacle itself kills enemies. Well, shite the asshole. Read the description properly. It says when enemies are held by tentacles, so you know, you can use weapons like Zen Star, Sonic Core, Static Core, Botor, Opticor, words that rhyme with the things I've just mentioned, or any good area of effect weapons that can effectively clear out enemies. Just make sure you don't overkill enemies, like killing enemies that are not held by the tentacles. Now, this build is not going to work well without another Warframe who can do such a similar thing, to boost drop chances. If you're really desperate for many resources and credits at once, you should have a Necros and a Chroma in your team. Necros's Desecrate can further increase drop chance and Chroma's ult will help in getting more credits. Not to mention a Nova in your team will make everything even better. Enemies will blindly rush at you even quickly if affected by Molecular Prime. Just one thing. If you have Xenerix Void Dash maxed out, you won't need an EV Trinity in your team unless you want some of those AFK XP leechers in your team. Just a friendly reminder guys. Alright, we have come to an end in this video. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, you know what to do. Ding! And don't forget to leave a nice comment down below to make someone's day. And please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video. Goodbye guys.